They've done it again. The Fenville boys basketball team winning for the third straight time since teammate Wes Leonard passed away a week ago last night, beating Culver to win the district championship. Sports director Jack Doles is alive at DeVos Fieldhouse in Holland, where he witnessed the latest Blackhawk victory. Jack? Jason, another unbelievable night here, electric, electric atmosphere, and I can't tell you what the swing of emotions has been like all week, but tonight, pure joy. Uh, Fenville wins a district title. They beat Covert 51-48. to Just like the first two games, Mitchell Leonard led the Fenville team onto the court, and just like the first two games, Wes's mother and father were on hand to cheer on the Blackhawks, and they came out smoking in the first quarter. Adam Siegel to Xavier, Greg on the cut to the hoop, 9-4 Fenville. Late in the quarter off the covert miss, Pete Alfaro ahead to Grigg, circus shot, and Fenville led 16-13 after one. But Covert came alive in the second quarter. Michael Smith hit a couple of deep threes, and Covert takes a 33-26 lead into the locker room. Second half, Fenville regroups, and they regain the lead when Demarcus McGee makes it 40-39. Then Grigg with the steal. That leads to another McGee layup. Fenville up by three. No quitting Covert, though. Don Shea Evans triple puts him up by two. Late in the fourth quarter, down by three. Sophomore Pete Alfaro ties it up with a clutch triple. The Blackhawks hit their free throws down the stretch. And remarkably, playing without their best player, Fenville wins the Class C District Championship 51-48. And there wasn't a dry eye in the DeVos Fieldhouse when Mitchell Leonard, Wes's brother, accepted the championship trophy. I thought that was just something that he deserved and the Leonard family deserved. And, uh, you know, you know, these guys have have played the last two games with uh, Wes in their hearts. And he's, I think someone said in the locker room, they, he's kind of given us some extra strength. And there's no doubt that we're... Uh, that we're playing with him in our hearts instead of on Monday where I thought we really played with a heavy heart. Playing with unbelievable emotion, they'll take on Schoolcraft now in the regionals on Monday night. Live in Holland, Jack Doles, 24 Hour News 8.